Well, here we go again. Another BR draft, of course. That seems to be routine on this channel now. But to be honest, man, I'm just trying to use players I haven't used yet in BR now because my chances of going 12 0 probably slipped away a while ago. <coughs> my voice. This new diamond, Ernie Banks, is insane. 116 contact versus lefties, 96 power versus righties, and 87 power versus lefties is still good. 91 vision, too, so. After that last patch where everybody with like below 80 vision is unusable almost, 91 vision should be able to do well no matter who's on the mound. And he has all right fielding to 81. That's not bad. He can also play third base. Ah, uh, this might be obvious. This Jeff Bagwell is amazing. I've been hearing that Kenley Jansen has been doing bad so far for everybody. So let's go Ernie Banks. I don't think I used the 97 Ernie Banks last season besides in BR2. Some decent relievers would be good. Some power in the lineup would also be good. That might just be a waste too. Might as well waste it for the pen. Need some lefties, of course. Steve Pierce is a beast against lefties. Although, if he has a bad inside edge, he's pretty much unusable. So I might have to take... Let's go. Let's get some people in the lineup. Troy Percival also has... Oh, he doesn't have a slider, so that might be... That might be bad. Carlton Fisk. That card might stink. To be honest. Dude, that is two amazing players already. Unfortunately, they're both righties. So I need some lefties in the order. Bobby Wilson. Terrible stats. Yeah, I, I need... At least it's a lefty. Jeff Bagwell again. Todd Frazier has 104 power versus lefties. Tommy Canely also has good stats. I might take him. I need some lefties in the order, so... I don't know. Did I fail? I don't know. It's alright, because Ernie Banks and... Jay Buhner. Two amazing players with good power on the team so far. So that's not even bad. I mean, I actually, I still have five silver rounds left and two golds. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't even have any, but actually, Canely's probably the best righty I have right now, so there is somebody who's at least usable. I mean, I don't know. I'm just hoping to get some somebody at least good from those silver rounds or those gold rounds. Moustakis. Holy shit, this might be a terrible pen, but it's alright. Actually, this might be... Yeah, I'm fine with this. Bastardo has amazing stats. So, Canely and Bastardo, as long as you have one good righty and lefty, it's decent. Zimmerman? Do need somebody at third base or first base. Chris Bryant? Or a Bray, or a Bregman. Probably take Bryant because he has the best power. Most balanced power. Even though a Bray, you can have an inside edge because he is a live series. 46 fielding. I don't even know if I can take that. Chris Bryant also has 36 vision. Damn. I might take a Bray then. Even though he is a righty. Both of them are righties, so. Whatever. I need lefties bad. I don't think I have a chance. I don't think I have a choice. I'll use him. I, I need somebody at second base, too. So that might be all right. Speed. Herrera has good speed. Let's see what we can get with this last gold round, actually. I'm going to have to take Cozart and put him at short? No, what the hell am I talking about? Third base. Yeah, I'll, I'll put Carpenter at second and Cozart at third. Yeah, that'll make sense. I need a lefty. Well, this might be all right. Although it would be ideal to take Cruz right now because look at that power, but I need lefties in the order right now because the only lefties I'll be using is Carpenter. Whatever, I need lefties bad, so that's probably a mediocre pick to say the least, but I do need lefties. So Lynn will be in for Mariznik, but then, yeah, he won't be playing center obviously because he has horrible stats. So Buner can play right. He has the best arm too, so that probably makes the most sense. I do not have anybody else behind the dish. Anyone else have a secondary? I don't know. This might be the lineup 
would be nice if I had more lefties, but I do have good power at the top of the lineup. Ernie Banks is leading off. He might be a machine with those hitting stats in the field too. Shouldn't be making too many mistakes. Adam Lind actually has all right stats versus lefties. He might not have the best power, but 72 contact isn't that bad. He also has 74 vision. He might be a liability in the field. That's the problem. Jay Buhner, also amazing power. So the first three batters, very good power. Matt Carpenter has 73 versus righties. So that's not bad. Nobody else has amazing stats. Abreu has all right power versus lefties. It is actually, I thought I had a common behind the dish. I don't. I don't know why I thought I had a common behind the dish. But I do have an alright bullpen too because Tommy Canely has plus 11 today. So he has 88 hits per 9. 90, wait, 103 Ks per 9. Wow. He also has a changeup and a slider. And then I also have Bastardo, the lefty, and then Familia. So two good righties and a decent lefty. The bench might stink. I might have to hit home runs and only home runs with this team. I'm going back to the roots. I was playing at Fenway last season when I went 12 and 1 to get Mike Trout. I'm going back to it. Since I do have a lot of righties, why the hell not? Let's go team. Let's go team, I just said. Let's go team. What is the holdup? Finally. Who does he have? He has Luke Weaver on the mound. He has the diamond, wait, the diamond, the bronze Hanley. He has Adrian Gonzalez, Martin Prado, Edwin, Sean Green, Salt Lamacchia, Hernandez, and Middlebrooks. His offense is not even that impressive. His bullpen might be disgusting on the other hand though. No, he has two diamond starters. He does not have diamonds in the pen. First things first, don't be doing anything stupid. Like that. Should be decent, should be decent, it is decent. Nice pitch from whoever the hell is on the mound. That might be a risky pitch at Fenway to be honest because if he's on that, that's probably leaving. All right, man, throw a strike. Two, this should be too easy. Banks makes the play. Let's fucking go hit. He does have a righty on the mound, that's probably better. Four banks. That's probably a good pitch to hit. Although I probably would have been below that, judging by what I've been doing lately. Holy shit! Nope, didn't swing at that. Adam Lind is on deck. All right, at bat so far to begin the game. 0-2 count becomes 3-2. That is exactly what I've been doing every single game. Below everything. Get out! I don't know how. I left because I thought I was below that again. That is a brutal swing. Jay Buhner is the right-handed Joey Gallo confirmed. After a swing like that leaves the yard. Jesus. So, pop fly frenzy! Every game! Pop flies everywhere! I mean, if you had a hot air balloon above the stadium, look out! Don't even fly it above the stadium! Because that shit, that shit will be hit! Nice fastball. That's exactly what that was supposed to be. Nice slider again. Shut this door! And don't even think about opening it. Shut up! That last call I saw, I don't agree with that. Nice. Three more outs. Always the most difficult ones. Need more insurance though, that would be nice. He has started almost every batter off with a low and away fastball. So I will be ready. That is important because 90 speed is now on the bases. He threw a low fastball again. That must be his go-to pitch. Go. That's an amazing jump. Ball. Alright, base hit now. He's thinking. 
very heavily. Bro, there's no way. What in the fuck was that? He threw it to first base when nobody was there. Ball! Up the gut. Yes, Abreu! That should easily score! Thank you. That's what I needed. <laughs> what am I doing? Blow it. What a surprise. Well, insurance was cashed in, so it's not... What the fuck is this guy? He missed it! What the fuck is happening? Ernie has a chance to do more damage. Holy shit! He might be pissed. That is absolutely destroyed. It's off the wall. Two. His controller may have been shattered. It's always good to walk away with that first win. That's always the most difficult one for me, at least. So that was that was an all right game. The team actually played decent. I might have to stick with Fenway because that was the only magic I had from last season is when I played at Fenway. So that'll be it for this video. Hope everyone enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, subscribe as well. I will see everybody in the next video.